We're going on a lower of the season, giving you all the nitty gritty, the details, everything you can think of, what's included, what's not, and what to do adult only. This time we are not bringing the kids, but don't you worry, in a few weeks we are bringing the kids. So follow along because this is gonna be a great weekend. Are you ready? Oh yeah, had to steal a DC. <laughs> so before we make our way into Miami and the craziness, we are now in Delray. We are actually charging our car. So we're nice and juiced up when we leave to go get our kitties on Monday. Of course, it's what we think about when, cause we're just parents, but we're charging our car and then we're gonna get hit that Miami traffic. I always tell anyone who's going out of Miami, please a lot some time because it is crazy down there with the traffic. People are like in and out, weaving in and out. If you're stuck in a traffic jam, it could be hours. It's just it's insane. Miami is like LA where you're not moving. So make sure you have plenty of time because the boat will leave without you. Yes, it doesn't leave until like four o'clock ish, but it will leave without you. And things happen where you get stuck. So what we're doing actually next week, we're going to be in Miami. We're going to be getting a cheap hotel just because we're in that, we'll be in like that vicinity where we can just get right over, take an Uber if we need to. But the main reason why we're going to be there instead of just being at my parents' house, which is about one, two hours away, is because we can actually use a shuttle service. Most of the Miami hotels down in that area will have a free shuttle or really really cheap but most of them are free to get over to the port which means you can leave your car at the hotel this saves a lot of money and might actually be cheaper than parking at the port so you'll be really closer you have a nice place to stay plus you have a shuttle it just works out without like the crazy traffic of trying to park in miami port because we're only there for the weekend and we don't have our kids so we left them this morning we didn't want to get a hotel so it's probably going to cost us the same amount of money but it's fine so there's a little budget saving hack. The gang's all here. We're officially parked and we got electric vehicle hybrid parking. Slay with a Slay Tesla. Slay the house. Slay the house. And we're right by the actual elevator to right down to where you can put down our stuff. Um, $35 a night. It went up, I think. $35 for parking. That's insane. We definitely can't park here for the whole week. We definitely have to do the hotel. We could have done the cheaper. We were talking about it. We're like, we could have done the cheaper parking and then shuttled over or did whatever. Um, but it was, I don't know. We just didn't think about it. And I didn't realize it's $35. Because there's only two of us. So it's not like we have to shuttle up kids and everything. It's just us. We could have done that. Anyways, we're here. Okay, let's get out and see what our first thing we do. I don't know what we're going to do. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm, I'm hyper. I'm ha I have caffeine gum in my mouth, so let's, let's go. So we just dropped off our bag. Make sure you tip the guys like a couple bucks to make sure everything's safe, but it's chaos. You just get off. I gave my bag right away, so we carried it for all of two seconds. I have these, so I need to record for social media, but now we're getting into the line to check in, and I look so weird filming. I should probably get my mic. Jordan's officially platinum. He's all excited. I'm not. I'm one, one point away, but... We're platinum now. Nothing, no, no big difference. Never been able to go up that because of the stroller. It's beautiful. This is this is Royal Caribbean's actual unit check-in area. So it's only Royal Caribbean's going through this area. So this is check-in right now. Uh, the lines aren't too bad. It's not as chaotic as everyone seems it to be, though. It's not too bad. It's not as stressful as you think it is. Like the airport is way more stressful than this. We're officially walking on. Security takes two seconds. You check in, then security, and then you check in again to check your ticket, and you walk right on. It took maybe five minutes, 10 minutes max. It's always really quick, especially when you have no stroller. You don't have to wait for an elevator. You can go up escalator and stairs. Really quick and convenient. We're walking on. Yeah! <laughs> Going right off in the promenade. Now we're officially on. Run. Let's go do our muster. Hand sanitizer. Okay, let's do our necessary so we can hang out and relax. Okay, we're gonna go get internet. I don't know if it's because it's a summer cruise, but this place is absolute chaos right now. It's loud, it's overstimulating, there's a lot of people walking around everywhere. It's just, I'm glad I don't have a kid because it's overstimulating. First thing you should always do when you get on the ship is make sure you check into your muster station, which it were in B. So we're gonna go down one and check in. So it should be quick. Stairs right here. I know this is chaos right now, but it's because everyone's boarding at the same place in the promenade, which is the most busiest, and you can get pizza and do reservations. Everything's right here, but tomorrow morning when you wake up, you won't see like half these people. It'll be a lot less chaotic. Just chaos right now. So if you get through it, you're fine. No one knows where they're going. Also, they can't go to the rooms, and a lot of people bring their luggage on, which I think is stupid. So it even makes it more chaotic. We've been on the ship for two seconds, so we're already looking for ducks. <laughs> and it's not even like we're going to keep them. We'll probably just take a picture. Maybe we'll bring in the kids, but then next cruise we go on next week, we'll just rehide them. Here we go. 
It literally takes two seconds to watch. First time on the ship? No. no. Oh, okay, remember this is, is your emergency assembly detention. Okay, B2 is here. Amber Miller, deck 4, okay? Okay. Uh, my friend will do a demonstration how to, how to do the, the light jacket piece. Okay. I don't know the Easy process. Check in, muster station took two seconds, mustard station took only two seconds. Now, what are we gonna do? On a, we don't have to take elevators, so we have no strollers. So, what do you wanna do for the first thing while on the cruise ship? Go to Park Central and get a wicked salad. We've gone on those ships with Oasis Class, which has Park Central, which is our favorite place, and our favorite thing on Oasis Class is Park Central, which we're gonna walk you through. But, little secret most people go to the pizza where they throw you in the promenade or they go to the buffet, which is even more chaotic. So when you go to Park Central, they have fresh uh, salads and sandwiches, which is our favorite thing on the ship anyways, and no one goes over there to eat. So we're gonna go there first. There's people watching me, it's so awkward. We're gonna go there first and eat and get our internet. So right now, husband is checking in to get our internet situated. Usually I suggest you getting the drink pass, the dining package, or internet package beforehand, but it doesn't matter for us because with the casino program that we're in, we're not big wallers. I'll tell you the whole thing with the casino situation, how we get them so cheap without like spending any money. But um, with getting the internet, we naturally get 30% off. So we just come here, we say we're a casino, and then they give us 30% off. So it's quick and easy. But if you don't have that ahead of time, please do it, do it ahead of time. If you wait for the drinking pass on board, or if you wait for internet on board, you're gonna be paying a hefty amount, hefty, hefty. Also, another trick for the drinking package, if you're thinking about the drinking package, the most I've ever seen it go off is about 30% or buy one, get one half off, which is only like 25% for the drinking package. With that, if you see a 30%, buy it right then and there because if it goes up any more, let's say 35%, which I've never seen, you can cancel it and then rebuy it, which we've done. So always buy it ahead of time. So when we saw it at 20%, we bought it, and then a couple weeks later, we noticed it was 30%, so then we canceled it and rebought it. Really easy to do on that, just an FYI. Another perk about the drinking pass, which we just found out because my dad cannot drink, he has like no liver. So my mom was able to get a full drinking pass and then my dad ended up getting the refreshment package with non-alcoholic, which saved us so much money. I found it on TikTok, called it, it's for real, and I bought it. So definitely look into that because you guys do not have to buy a double alcoholic package if you do not want to. There's a whole bunch of limitations and if you don't want to do it, my dad cannot do it. So all we had to say was he can't drink and that's it, they didn't, they didn't question it. So the internet costs us $70 for one device. I have to have internet while we're here, especially to talk to the kids, but also to work. Now we're gonna find a dining person. Now we're gonna go see if we can get a discount on dining. Usually if you come here and ask, they'll just give you a discount, so we'll see. But FYI, Starbucks is not included. It is all separate, even with the highest drinking package. There's our guy. Let's see what Honey can negotiate. We're gonna talk to someone else because he didn't even budge on the discounting price. I don't know because maybe it's summertime and it's so busy right now, but this is not a newer shift. So let's see what we can do because he wasn't budging. The dining may seem like a great deal, but you really have to like haggle with them. It sounds pretty bad, but we got 30% off chops and sometimes we can get 40% off, um, especially for the first night. You can always get the cheapest deal. But then uh, Azumi, which is a sushi restaurant, we're gonna do a la carte. That's usually the best way to do it. But they show a special that's up to 40% off if you spend $104 for two restaurants. It's bullshit because if you do both the restaurants, if you would have chops and Azumi at full price, it doesn't even equal like that hundred and whatever, or you maybe save a dollar. So if you just do it by itself and ask for a discount, it's way cheaper. So we ended up getting 30% off chops and then we're gonna a la carte Azumi. Yeah whatever we wanted to do something while we have no kids if we didn't have kids it just honestly it wouldn't if we had the kids it wouldn't have mattered uh, we went up like three flights of stairs but it's okay we don't have a stroller and we're not holding kids so positivity now we're going to park central and this is my favorite part of the waste class and there's a reason why watch this like we're in the ocean right now and you hear birdies and there's real this is all real greenery it's just so beautiful. Most of the restaurants are here, but we're here for Park Central, not Park Central, yeah, Park Central for our salads. And they have such beautiful music here at night, so if you want to grab a glass of wine and sit out here. And I heard on Utopia they're actually giving out little appetizers and stuff at nighttime while you can listen to music. Finalinus, it's just very like calming. I would love to have a room if I can afford an ocean view, getting one of these because it's so nice. But look, there's no one here. This is my favorite place to eat and there's no one here. No one knows about it. <laughs> okay. 
So we just got here. Like I said, no one's here. We got a salad. I have to take a lactate because there's some cheese on it. And then we got some coconut cookies and some macadamia cookies and lemon cookies. I actually love the oatmeal cookies here. I'm salivating. So we're gonna enjoy this and just people watch. I'm full and tired now. I wanna take a nap already. We love people watching, but now we're tired. We're going to guest services now to switch over our credit card because now we have an American Express. So we're gonna go to guest services, switch that out. Guest service is always crazy the first day. So this should be interesting. I found my first dog. It's not that busy. So pro tip, come before the rooms are ready because there's like no line right now for guest services. This is shocking because once the rooms are available and everyone gets to the room and they all feel like something's wrong, their view's not good, there's not enough beds, something's wrong with whatever, it's not connecting, it becomes chaos. So I'm glad we're here now. So here's a little room tour. It's so much easier without chaos of kids. We've got a king size bed. This is just a basic balcony room. Go to, oh, there's a fan in here. Oh, there's a fan in here. They're not getting it back. We are definitely gonna be using this fan while I sleep. Yes, ma'am. You can actually request fans, but they run out really easily. I bring a portable fan. I'm gonna like them on Amazon storefront. I bring a portable fan just because there is no fans in here and it gets kind of hot and muggy at nighttime and I like the, the noise and the sound, the feeling. So here's our room. Open the balcony stink. After you, pretty princess. Here's the balcony. Ooh, is this an ultra spacious? seems a little bigger. I think it's just this little piece. No. This part where I'm standing is never like this. This is larger than normal. How many ships have we been on? Come on. I think it might just be like the one we're at. It might be a little bit bigger. I don't think it's an ultra spacious, but Ooh, it definitely is bigger. So here's the room from this angle. This also converts into a bed or yeah, th this one probably converts into a bed as well. And there is no bed on top. Did you see this guy? What's the weather like? <laughs> oh, that's thunder. Did you guys hear that? Oh my God, look at the city. Wow. If you're ever worried though about cruise ships of being on a cruise during a storm or anything, when it's like a major hurricane, they're gonna cancel it or give you refunds, which could suck if you're coming from out of state or out of town. However, with cruise ships, not to worry too much because these crews are like, these ships are like, billion dollar ships like they're not risking it for a storm just for your enjoyment so what they do is they go around i almost fell they go around the storm so don't worry too much i did not bring any motion sickness medicine because so i usually don't have to take it but if it's raining a little bit it's gonna stink good thing about being on a giant ship and why i prefer a giant ship is because it is just there's always something to do so even if it's raining you are always be busy and doing something you don't have to sit out in the pool when you're on a smaller ship and there's not much to do that's what kind of stinks i always go for larger ships way more fun don't really care about the ports so and i got this one cheap like we got this for like 220 dollars slide the house so what is going on this week we have seen the half of mama mia the half to the ending it's actually very long um i think it's like three hours which is crazy but it was amazing. So we want to see the whole thing this time, and they do have intermission break. Our kids couldn't watch the whole thing. It was too long for them. But they have fresh popcorn, which does cost extra, which is annoying. But um, it was really, really good. So I'm really excited to see this again. They have Crazy Quest, which I highly suggest you go see it. It's definitely 18 plus, so make sure your kids do not go to that. We might go see the adult comedy show. I'm excited to see like all the shows. And then the Aqua show, I think it's pretty much the same or it looks the same at least on all the Oasis classes. So once you see it once, you really don't need to see it again. My husband kind of wants to see it. So we'll probably see it just to get some content maybe. But once you see it once, it's pretty much the same thing. Our kids love it. So we always watch it, but I'm excited to do the adult things. Adult comedy shows, Crazy Quest, the Mamma Mia. It's really exciting. Oh. No, my husband doesn't want to watch this. He wants to do the ice show. We've never done the ice show. So I might do Some people on vacation want to drink heavily. Some people just want to sit out in the beach and do nothing, sit by the pool, eat the whole time, walk around the ship. I want to relax. Okay, my enjoyment is going to bed early and having no one around me in quiet time. That feels like so much fun. And maybe even getting some work done. I'm a content creator, so my work is really fun. But like that is enjoyment to me. There's like a thunderstorm about to happen. I could care less. I'm sitting out here like, oh, I would love to see some rain. I don't care. I don't care. Cruising is just so relaxing. It depends on if you want to party, if you want to relax, or something for everyone. But I don't have kids. I don't have someone gnawing at my ear, telling me they're hungry every two seconds and or telling me they're bored every two seconds. So I'm going to sit here. Maybe I'll take a nap. I don't know. My only plan right now is I have a steak dinner at seven o'clock. 
So I'm going to get some work done. My husband's, of course, shitting because he shits 100 times a day. And then maybe I'll take a nap. I'll catch you up in a little bit. We're supposed to be leaving soon, but people are not doing the safety breaking, a.k.a. the mustard drill. Mustard. You guys have to do it. If They will hunt you down and find you until you do it because we cannot leave, which means we'll be delayed. But anyways, we're going to go get a little pre-dinner snacky snack, and we're unpacking our bag because we got our bag. My God, they... <laughs> they oh, move it. They got this so dirty. It's dirtier than it was. Ugh. I'm just obsessed with my bag so much. And when I see it get dirty, I'm like crushed a little bit because I had to work so hard to get that bag. It took me months to find it. And then I got it and paid an arm and leg for it. But she's here. So we're going to get unpacked a little bit. And then we're going to go get a little snacky snack for chops. I haven't left yet. We haven't, the, the ship hasn't left yet, but we're on our way to get our first snack. We're either gonna go get pizza or coffee. We're not really sure. We have dinner in four hours. I don't know if my tummy can handle food right now, but like, what else do you do on the cruise ship? <laughs> Holy shit, this place is busy. Oh my God. This is what summer cruises are like? This is busy. So I don't know if it's the weather, but this place, or if it's just the time, because we've never done a summer cruise, place is absolutely insane. I said it like five times. The pizza line was like 50 people deep. Guest service is, of course, crazy. Everyone's just in the promenade right now, which is a little nuts. So I don't know what we're going to do. This is very different than any of the cruise we've been on, and we've been on the ship multiple times. So the boardwalk's a little busier, but right here you can get some hot dogs. They are not good at all. And then here is a donut wall, and they're pretty basic donuts, but they have donut and coffee, I think, until about 9 a.m. The kids like it. It's fun. It's a cute little perk. Carousel's not running yet. I think we have to wait until we actually leave the port. We're still stuck because people are not doing the safety briefing yet. Uh, it's a little slippery, but it's not raining anymore, which is good. I love hiding ducks right here. We also found our first duck and it's a flamingo. We're on the mission to find three to take them each back to our kids. And we're sending them pictures along the way, it's so cute. Johnny Rockets right here and on this ship and a lot of Oasis class. For breakfast it is free, but they're only open till nine, which a lot of people don't know about. So it doesn't get as busy, but try their breakfast out. They even have a bacon milkshake. But for lunch and dinner, it's not free. It's not that crazy expensive. I actually really enjoy it. This Sabre Mexican restaurant, I've actually never tried because they have the free Mexican restaurant um, by the pool area. A lot of people don't know about that either. So I just get it for free and don't even try because I feel like it's gonna be the same food. This little play area is when the Karen that got yelling at my kids. If you guys know, you know, I put a whole steroid time in TikTok, but this is where it happened, but it's fun for the kids. They like it. And then the aqua show would be right in this area. They can do performances and it's dry and then they take off the cover and then it's water and there's two rock climbing walls as well. Carnival Conquest is on its way out. Look at the skyline, it's so pretty. We have just been sitting here enjoying the light rainfall. We're about to move, the boat ship is about to move. It's just so nice and relaxing out here. They have these like weird entertaining videos right there. I don't know, what, they should have put the Olympics on but it's fine, it's nice. We are at Chops Grill right now. This is where we're gonna have dinner. It is around, what time is it? It's 6.45 where we have dinner at seven o'clock. We are just in the casino area and just met some awesome friends. So hopefully they take our advice on how to get really cheap cruises. Um, hopefully remember, but let's go have dinner together in Chops Grill, which is their steakhouse. And we've never been disappointed. Fit. Fit. We are not dressed fancy at all. I am in a sweatshirt and jean shorts. I don't give a shit, ouch. I just slipped. So we're at Chop's Grill right now. I'm really excited. We ordered a normal filet. My husband got a, uh, what'd you get, New York strip? We've never ordered. Filet is absolutely amazing at Chop's Grill. No, thank you. I love this restaurant. It's the same restaurant at all the ships and I've never had a bad experience. I absolutely love it. And we got discount on it 30% off, but just asking, so always ask. But we got the filet. I got all the dishes for us to share. We also got the fish, which we've never had before, so we're going to try that. And we've got amazing um, bread. So if you want to go the first night, it's always the cheapest, but I'm really excited for dinner. I love this restaurant. So they actually changed the, up the bacon. It looks a little different than the last time. It looks good, though. But my favorite is the tuna tartare. 
Lobster bisque, which I absolutely love, but I'm too full to eat it. I'm trying to hold off. We got steak and seafood this time, which we never have gotten seafood from here. So I'm very curious. It's going to be huge chunks of lobster. So unfortunately, we're actually taking our food to go. I have fish and a filet, not touched. My husband has a ribeye and we have mac and cheese and some asparagus to go. We can't eat it and we got their, our dessert to go as well. This food is absolutely amazing, I'm not saying that. It's just we're on semi-glutide and our body can't handle that much food. So in about an hour we'll eat this, but it's really good. It's not that it's not good. It's just we're absolutely full, but we're gonna take this to go. And also, if you like your food here and you're done and maybe you want a salad to go or a side to go, that is free. You can get it to go, but I know they charge you extra for meat at most, not all, but most of the ships. So if you want a salad to go, because it's so amazing, you can definitely do that, but the meat is gonna charge extra. This is not extra because we haven't eaten this. I'm talking a lot. Okay, bye. This is just in case we go to sleep early and like fully fall asleep. Hopefully we just take a nap and we get up by 10 so we can see the comedy show. But I am so uncomfortably full and tired and I'm just like relaxing all day. And this was such a relaxing vacation that we might just go to bed. So if not, if this is the goodbye, know that we ate the steak either tonight or tomorrow morning. I will vlog if it's in the morning, but we will show you guys everything the nitty gritty tomorrow because tomorrow is the private island hideaway K, which is the adults only section at the private island, which the private island is my favorite. So stick along because we have a lot more coming and hit that follow button because we're on a lower of the sea. Bye guys. It's, what time is it? It's 8.05. I don't know if you can oh see it God. there. There it I goes. don't I don't care. I have no kids. I'm enjoying this early night night time. The light outside.